We have an ABC News exclusive interview tonight with the rapper Wyclef Jean, who's coming off a heated encounter with law enforcement. He was stopped and cuffed the other night for a crime he did not commit. He alleged police brutality, but was it? The LAPD have me in cuffs for absolutely nothing. I just turn around, I see uh, all kind of guns drawn on me. So basically, in a state of fear, for my life. It was a high profile case of mistaken identity. And y'all see the police have handcuffs on me. They just took off my Haitian bandana. That's what's going on. Grammy winner Wyclef Jean handcuffed and detained by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department early Tuesday morning. I am going to see you. It happened while the deputies were searching the city for assailants who allegedly robbed and pistol whipped two people in West Hollywood. Famous for hits such as Fast Car. And ready or not, with his band Fuji's. Those who correlate know the world they kick. Jail bars ain't golden gates. Yerda says he was confronted outside his hotel by the deputies. Automatically, I'm like, oh man, people's being punked here. The sheriff's department says Jean was riding in a vehicle similar to the suspects and wearing an outfit and a red bandana similar to the description given by the victims. Police say Jean was held for approximately six minutes. As soon as we found out that he was not the suspect, he was not the person we were looking for, he was just dressed similarly, he was released. But the sheriff's department and Wyclef Jean have very different accounts of what happened during the encounter. In a statement, the department says Jean was handcuffed because of his furtive movements and demeanor, that he started to walk toward the trunk of the car, though he was instructed not to do so, and had to be ordered several times not to place his hands near his pockets or waistband, all claims that he denies. Well, this is what's beautiful about this, right? The fact that I am alive. And what's also beautiful about this is there's cameras. There was absolutely no resistance. In a statement released on his behalf just hours after the incident, Jean's publicist wrote the artist was subject to police brutality, racial profiling, police bias, and the ongoing discriminatory practices of law enforcement officials, which remain rampant throughout the United States. I don't think there's any evidence of police brutality. It doesn't make him guilty. It doesn't make it his fault. But when looking at whether the police should be blamed, you have to look at all the facts. It also doesn't make it wrong for him to be upset about all of this. He has every right to be upset, but he may not have a right to sue the police department uh, for wrongdoing. Do you think uh, there was brutality here? I think that brutality comes in many forms, right? Um, and brutality comes in assassination, character assassination also. Um, I don't know how it would not be brutality if um, you're handcuffed. Um, I don't know if you've ever been cuffed in the back. Let me just read you one other part of their statement. They say, it's unfortunate that Mr. Jean was detained as he had no involvement whatsoever in the violent crime. Uh, they go on to say that the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is apologetic for any inconvenience this process caused Mr. Jean. Is that good enough for you? The apology that I'm looking for is I didn't put my hands up. I didn't go to the trunk to resist the officer. John also acknowledges that the deputies, who did later apprehend the suspect they were searching for, were just trying to do their job. I respect law enforcement because I have law enforcement in the family. These dudes leave every day not knowing if they're going to come back home. The incident hitting a nerve for many, especially after so many other cases involving innocent black men and law enforcement have ended in tragedy. Please don't tell me this, Lord. Please, Jesus, don't tell me that he's gone. Last year, Philando Castile was pulled over in a suburb of St. Paul, Minnesota. The officer relaying via radio that Castile matched the description of a robbery suspect. Castile was shot and killed as he reached for his ID. His girlfriend live streaming the entire ordeal. That officer is now awaiting trial for manslaughter. I think communities of color ha have a legitimate concern. Uh, they've seen enough video of officers misconduct to shape their opinions. And it obviously have shaped some emotional reactions. While at the same time, we want our cops to go home and we support them. Creating trust between the black community and law enforcement, a goal that Wyclef Jean and the former Dallas police chief David Brown say they both support. Brown was chief when five of his officers were shot by a sniper last summer. After the July 7th incident in Dallas, Wycliffe called me 
to offer condolences. He has family members in the law enforcement community that work in law enforcement, so he has been supportive of law enforcement. But yet, when he stopped uh, by officers, he has these feelings, and I think we ought to listen to that. And I, I've heard it before from uh, communities of color, and I think it's something that if we acknowledge it, we can have some common ground and some understanding. So the positive part about this is that I'm alive, and I did come out the car, and I went through this. So I'm just saying, yo, we really have a problem here. How can we work as a unit? Like, let's let's not fight, because you're going to need the police. The police have to protect citizens. You're going to need citizens to trust the police. Once you build that trust, I mean, you basically build a real community.